Snow and ice are just a part of life in the Upper Peninsula, and with an area that has so much of it, it's important for people who live here to understand some basic properties. Our students are learning about matter while exploring snow and ice. We set up an experiment to determine what might melt ice the fastest, whether it is just ice sitting outside, ice wrapped in newspapers, or ice covered in salt. The students are taking a hike through the winter trail at Nara Nature Center, as well as participating in some hands-on activities inside. This program allows roughly 4,000 students in the Western Upper Peninsula to experience the outdoors and to learn the science in the outdoors. Today's lesson teaches students how to manipulate the melting point of ice, an important piece of knowledge where ice can build up on sidewalks or roads. At first, a lot of the students thought a newspaper would melt it faster because it would keep it cozy. But then after watching the salt, as they just passed it around, it already started to melt the ice and they all changed their minds. And then everyone saw the salt melt at first and because he was teaching us about like salt as a chemical. This field trip is one of several that are held each year by Michigan Tech's Science and Environmental Outreach Program and teaches students by using fun and memorable experiences as learning tools. Second graders are very inquisitive. They really absorb learning through action. They need to be moving. They need to be seeing things in person. They need to be able to get out there and see science and explore it. They like to be outdoors and it really enhances their appreciation of the natural world and it's something they can take home and share. In an area where sportsmanship is everywhere, understanding icy conditions can be essential to survival, and learning these things at a young age can be life-saving. This is a wonderful program that we hope continues for years to come. My class typically does all three seasons of the science explorations. They are fabulous programs. They really help our students to learn their science concepts. I like it because um, we get to learn about science and we get to find cool stuff in the forest. Much of the program's funding comes from contributions and strong community support. We are super excited to have received a $20,000 grant from the Weggie Foundation this year to continue the program. More information about the Outdoor Science Investigations Field Trip Program can be found at mtu.edu. I'm Lee Snitz for ABC 10 and the CW5.